yeah, yeah. Uh, so then I have my uh, my long shots. Yeah. I want to really get into this one. I'm sorry, Toby. Because this is my favorite <laughs> area to my favorite area to play. I love playing here because everybody hates it. Everybody thinks penny stocks are all fraudulent fucking companies. You know, with no manager team, it's these you know these beer smuggling, you know, overweight dudes, you know, just <laughs> yes, just scam people. Well, they're really not. They're, you know, I would say most of them are. Okay. There's just, just so much beautiful stuff there, though, sitting there waiting to be found. You know, this is where you'll see a lot of like, you'll see like a 70 year old, 80 year old management team just sitting there waiting for something to happen, you know, and they they did it right for, you know, I just have comps in them, they're going to do it again. And things change, you know, things happen and, um, you know, markets change, environments change, economy change, and they are able to adapt. But yeah, something went, something went terribly long along the way, right? To make these guys many stocks. And then, but there's still a, a great business value there. There's a great brand potentially, great technology. Someone new comes in, you know, and 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 alleviates that old manager team of their responsibility because they just can't adapt. But this new team comes in and fixes it all. There's tight. There's like great capital structures on some of these companies that meet our requirements, and you can just sit in these things, just wait. And this is where you, start, you is one of my favorite places to play. And then, you know, then you then they're not penny stocks, you know, ten years later. And that's that's the most fun I have because I can sit there with a little bit of money, take a very little risk, yeah, and not sleep at night, not worry about it, right? So that's I the key, right? You size them small. Yeah, they size them small, but they become huge later, right? But now I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't feel as bad and as I can sleep at night because they proved to me for the last five years they can do something, right? I'm not, I'm gonna be betting on them now, and it's great when you have these like you know these zero inning, what I'm sorry, the first inning of a recovery, right? And you're buying stock at a price you'll never be able to buy in the fifth inning, right? But even when the fifth inning is still fucking great, right? You can pile them more, right? And you have confidence. If you got them from inning one to inning five, and they've executed along the way, now you got this great confidence. Then you just go boat below the ship, you know? And then you wait till you know seventh inning or whatever. And um, you'll see a lot of takeovers in this, in this time. Like eventually, you get taken over a lot of them. But what I love about it is like this little bit of risk in the, in the very beginning, money, no capital, and it can, can become a lot of money later. Yeah, I like and, that too. Uh, and it's just everyone's ignoring them. It's, just, it's beautiful. I mean, no one can buy them. You know, you can't buy them at brokerage firms anymore. You got you got to call the order in sometimes. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's you can't short them. That's great. So you don't have the, the short guys aren't going to play in this fucking field in this mess, right? Every you know everyone's ignoring them. Smart investors, dumb investors, everybody. <laughs> so it's just beautiful. And then the short side, you got you know the China stuff and the pump and dump stuff. Um, you know. Um, and they're still trying to fraud out there now. It's just amazing. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I just about screened them out. It's just too hard. You can't. You can't. I mean, I'm long one right now. I mean, I'm probably down in it actually. <laughs> I'm still I'm still betting on it. Um, but it, it, the stuff the stuff you see now with these filings they're still here public without the, without their licenses to operate in China. You know, it's just they have a broker's license. Yeah, they're just there's companies. You know, we have a. They're not doing an online brokerage. You're not allowed to do an online broker in China. You don't have a license to do it. You're still doing it. You say you don't. You're not allowed to do it. You say you circum. You circum. So this fancy way of doing it. So you, it is legal. So if it hasn't been voted upon or it hasn't been like you know really judged upon yet in China yet. Then we can come to the U.S. Oh, by the way, get a license here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you know. So. so, so. It's just, it's just crazy. So you know, and they're and they're just like they, they take the they're taking the art. And what's legal about it is, I'm not going to say names right now. But what's legal about it is, they um, so China, China has this real capital this capital flight problem, right? That R and B leaving China, right, right, to the U.S. or to Hong Kong, whatever. And um, so in China, you can't um, you know you can't take R and B to dollars and and, and to move them out to to invest. And these these firms are are facilitating that process. Right. And our thing is, at some point, China's going to care, especially right now with all the attention going on. Right. We love it here in the U.S. Because you bring a U.S. dollars to the U.S. Right. I mean, that's, that's okay from our point of view. I guess that's what's going on there. <laughs> but my my fear is, that I th I think a lot of puppet dumps are happening from this whole money too. So I think a lot of that money is coming from China, you know, to you know either Hong Kong accounts. You know where they can buy U.S. companies, you know stocks or U.S. accounts. Um, you can figure out who those two firms are, um, and then um, just pumping these Chinese stacks. I think a lot of it's coming from that. 